Hey guys, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. I'm recording this straight after finishing off the last one. So we're going to continue straight on. We're in Novak. I still have quite a few people here we need to talk to. I'm interested in finding Manny. I'm also interested in finding the snipers. And I've got a guy that's inside the dinosaur to talk to as well. So maybe we'll go and see if we can find the guy. Victor, I'm looking Howdy, at you. Partner. Yes, I'm looking at you. Maybe we'll go and find the guy in the dinosaur? Wait, how do we get into... Oh, there we go. Dinobite gift shop. <laughs> hey, Cliff. Welcome to the Dinobite gift shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T-Rex figurines, you're just in time. There's still a few left. Maybe we should actually buy one. What do you sell here? Well, there's T-Rex figurines, of course. That's our bread and butter. We also have an assortment of the Repcon factory souvenirs, rockets, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. Tell, what about supplies and guns? Do you sell those? Guns? I, uh, well, yeah, I guess I might have a few. Okay. <laughs> Darn it, no one ever buys the T-Rex. No, I will, I will. I will. I'd like to see what you've got for sale. Sure thing. Have a look. Does he actually have a T-Rex? I'm wanting, I want to buy it. A thousand caps. Oh, no. I'm not, I know. I'm really tempted, but no, not just yet, Cliff. Tell me more about the souvenir rockets. They're scale replicas of the real thing. Very detailed. Got a liquid in them that makes them glow. Okay. From what I hear, Repcon used to give them out on tours of their HQ up in Henderson. But I guess they had to stop after the first few kids <laughs> thought they were filled with Nuka Cola and drank it down. Wow, okay. The papers had a name for the condition and everything. They called it the Repcon shakes. <laughs> Those were bad times for Rob Cole. It does sound bad. How did they end up here? Well, they unloaded what they had left on the dino bite as a tax write off, but that was before my time. Mm. Plenty of demand for them, seeing as how they're one of a kind collector's items, but I might still have some in back. Well, how much are they? Are they a thousand caps too? Well, Jeannie May sent me anyway. Bless her. Seems like every traveler <laughs> I get in here tells me the same thing. They see the sign and think, gift shop? That's just too good to be true. <laughs> but Jeannie May always points them back in my direction. Well, a friend of Jeannie's is a friend of mine, and my friends get a discount at my store. Okay. Well, let me check the price of sure that thing. toy Have now. Where is it? Where is it? That's not a discount. That's still the same price. Get out. Well, how much rocket souvenir? Three caps. Okay. I'm buying it. Thanks. <laughs> Come back soon. At least I got something. I got something. You know, I could steal it. But that's not very nice. Whoa. Oh, there's Manny. He is the sniper. Interesting. Well, this is a really nice view up here, though. What's going on, man? Hey, Manny. Who are you? I'm Manny. I'm on security detail here. You see a rifle barrel sticking out of the dinosaur's mouth, you got a 50-50 shot it's me. Otherwise, it's Boone. Okay, Boone. So who's Boone? Boone's a sniper, same as me. Used to spot for him when we were enlisted with the NCR. After we got out, I talked him into settling down here. So, here we are. I'd introduce you, but uh, we're not so friendly right now. Okay, why? Why? Why are you on bad terms with Boone? I'm very nosy. Me and his wife, we didn't see eye to eye on some things. Okay. Some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. He killed her. What did you and Boone's wife argue about? Man, you name it. See, I grew up in North Vegas. Me and my cousins, we were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang. I loved it. <laughs> then something happened, and I couldn't handle it anymore. So, I enlisted, earned my future, brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman, who was too good for it, trying to take him away. Mm. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. So you were in a gang, were they tough? Were they tough? I was in the cons, man. It doesn't get any badder. Interesting. 
What was your tour with the NCR like? Oh, it was great. I wouldn't trade it. Something about that lifestyle, the discipline, seeing new places, making people safe. What's not to like? So why'd you leave? Uh, well, I just felt like it was time, you know? Wanted to have a home. Hmm. Plus, I was up at Camp Golf when Bitter Springs went down. I faked like I was sick to get out of going because I knew some of the people there. Hmm. But when everybody came back, nobody would tell me what happened. And people would call us murderers sometimes when we showed up to secure towns. What did happen at Bitter Springs? I still don't know exactly. Just that a lot of people died who didn't want to be a part of the fighting at all. I don't blame anybody for it. There's so much chaos when you're fighting. You're lucky not to shoot your own guys. Yep. But it did take something out of it for me. This wasn't the same. Mm. So when it came time to re-enlist, I just took my papers and walked. Mm. Well, who do you protect your town from? You name it. Anything that comes within a thousand yards that looks like trouble. Lately, we've been getting ghouls mm. coming from the road to Repcon out to the west. Quite a few last couple days. The big threat is the Legion coming from the east. If they decide to attack with a full force, they'll run us over. But so far, we've been lucky. Well, time to ask my favorite question. I'm looking for a man in a checkered coat. Sure, I know him. What do you want with him? You know him. Oh, what do I say? I have a score to settle. He has something of mine. I'm looking for answers. Whatever he's doing, I want in on it. Or do I lie? He's a good friend of mine. I'm trying to help him out. We don't know if Manny is friends with the checkered coat guy. If I say that he's a friend of mine and then it turns out that Manny hates him, that's probably not going to go down well. I'm going to say I'm looking for answers. Must be something pretty important to be chasing a guy like that. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. Mm-hmm. What do you need? Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. Okay. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They'd all have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site, but a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. <laughs> what needs to be done? Well, they gotta go, or this'll be a ghost town before long. It doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. Okay. Okay, I'll see what can be done about it. It'd mean a lot to me. Well, I guess we're gonna go up to that... That rocket. We're gonna go ghoul fighting. Yeah, see ya. Alright, Manny. Well, that's, um... That's interesting. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. <laughs> for putting me up to that. Oh, well. We can do it, guys. We can do it. Are you okay? Okay, you're cool. All right, let's just check check our quests. They went that away. Find out from many Vargas where the Khans were headed. And in order to do that, we need to do come fly with me. Head to the Repcon facility west of Novak. Okay, where is that on the map then? Ah, it's over there. All right, well, we can do that. I do want to find out about this... Hang on, who are you guys? Just a settler. Oh. Just a settler. I do need to find out about who's killing the Brahmin. So I'm wondering if that's something that I can do. I know it has to be around midnight, so can I sleep? No, I can't sleep there. I just wanted to... I know that I could buy a buy a bed at the motel but I'm stingy I don't want to do that <laughs> so I'm gonna go and look around for a bed that I can sleep in oh I can I can actually sleep nice okay so what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna save my game I'm gonna check the time the time is 2 p.m. if I go to sleep for nine hours that should take me to about 11 o'clock at night, right? Yes. Oh, sorry. sorry. Sorry, guys. I, um... I used your bed. But that's okay. So now we're here at 11 o'clock at night. 
we should be all right to go and see who's who's doing this with the cows with the brahmin i should say it's a quarter past 11. we're just gonna wait here find out who's doing this nothing's really happening just yet though nobody is around There's nothing here, guys. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, what? Who are you? Can't sleep. Can't sleep. A nightkin. He's invisible. Do I shoot that dude? Oh, he's not an enemy, though. He is invisible. And he... Oh, no. What am I meant to do with that guy? What do I do? He killed another one. So I've only got two left. I didn't really do a good job of protecting them. But at least I found out... Look who's here. Who who did it? I know who did it. Find anything? Yes, I did. Excuse me? Not yet? I I what? Well, don't worry yourself too much over it. We'll get by. Hello. I s losing don't describe it. It's I've a seen it. A few more days and there won't be nothing left to lose. But I've seen it. There must be something I'm doing wrong. There he is. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get that guy. You don't just go killing cows, do you? Whoa. But seriously, you don't just go around killing people's cattle. Come on, Eddie. Eddie, you could have been a little bit better then. What is this? Minicon. Oh, that's going to be too heavy for me to carry around though. And the condition is terrible. The screams of Brahmin. What is that, dude? Note added the screams of Brahmin. Most of what is recorded here is a mess of incomprehensible, psychotic gibberish. It seems to express a general frustration towards a set of Brahmin who are allegedly keeping the author awake at night by screaming inside his head whenever he closes his eyes? Dude. You got some problems. Well, he doesn't have problems now. I killed him. These people only got two Brahmin left. It's just terrible. But we can go and show this guy what we got. Look oh, who's here. Yeah, look who's here indeed. I've solved your mystery. Dusty. Find anything? Oh, yeah, I did. No one is going to attack your corral from now on. Well, I don't know how you've done it, but <laughs> I do know how I can thank you. Please take this. Compliments of Alice and myself. And help yourself to anything Ooh. in that freezer over yonder. We got more steaks in there than we'd be able to eat in a year. Thanks. 75 caps. So long. Oh, we're now accepted in Novak. Folks have come to accept you for your helpful nature. That's awesome. Where's your freezer? Take it, everything. Yeah. 10 steaks. Cool. Let's just take everything. <laughs> You've got a fresh one out the back there too, so you should get onto that. All right, that's awesome, guys. I'm so happy with that. So now, what we need to do is something I'm not really looking forward to, and we've got to go to the Repcon facility to investigate rumors of ghoul activity. I'm nervous about going here, but that's what we got to do. We should be okay. 
Just cross your fingers. <laughs> it's an enemy nearby. It's probably a ghoul. It's okay, guys. We can do it. What's that? Oh, getting radiated from that thing. Oh, man. We're going to be... We're going to actually need a lot of right away after going to this place. Oh. Okay. Please, Eddie, let me have a turn at it. Well, we both had a go. <laughs> they always have good loot. Like, okay, not good loot. Most of it's trash. But they have things like wonder glue, caps. Hold up, Rocketeers. Looking for a tour? Oh, yeah. We're going to get our own tour here. We are going to get our own little tour. Is it through the... Like, where exactly are we going? Through here, isn't it? Oh boy. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. That looks interesting. Like, it looks like there should be something hidden in there. Do we have anything here to take? Ammo box. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that ammo. All right. We can we can do this. I am quite nervous. It is nighttime. Completed. Head to the Repcon facility, enter the facility and discover the source of the ghouls. Okay. Scrap metal. Thank you very much. First aid box, steam pack. I don't know what the empty syringes do. Maybe I Maybe it's when I, um, I can create my own energy cell. Mine box. Well, let's just take everything. All of the, all of the weapons and things like ammo, very, very useful. I think anyway. I don't know what that is on the ground there. Can't pick it up, whatever that is. Let's go. This is going to be quite a big adventure going in there. I am very, very glad that we do have Eddie at this point. Very, very glad. I think that he is... Where? There he is. I think he is going to be... Oh, there's a ton of them here. I think he's going to be a massive lifesaver for us right now. Well, there goes his leg. He won't be going anywhere, will he? 71% for that. Oh, that's a nice little shot of her. <laughs> there we go. Sometimes you don't need to use the AP, but I actually, I like it. So now we got to go in this place. There's a bunch of ghouls. Oh, hi, dead ghoul. You dress nicely. Bright Brotherhood robe. I'm going to take that because I'm very curious. Very curious about that. All right, let's go up. I'm super nervous right now. That missed. Whoa. Good one, Eddie. Good one, Eddie, as well. <laughs> Good job, boy. He is a miracle worker. Dead ghoul. See, I don't see. He must have only just recently turned. So we're going in here. We're doing it. We're doing it. I'm going to save. I'm pretty nervous. Hey, over here. Are you listening? Go to the big room on the east 
side of this building and take the metal staircase all the way up. And hurry. Who are you? Who I am doesn't matter, smooth skin. Stop wasting time and get up here. He's a ghoul. Like I said, find the metal staircase in the big room on the east side of the building. It's where they used to make rockets. Get okay. Moving. Oh, another Nikin. I am so scared. So scared. I'm really, 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 really. Where's, where's Eddie? Hang on, guys. Does Eddie not... Does Eddie not come into buildings? Does he not come into buildings? Where... Eddie, where... He doesn't come into buildings. He's not coming in here. It's just me. Oh, there he is. Oh. Thank goodness. <laughs> it's just that this is terrifying. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, I forget how to find you. Big room, metal staircase, east side of the building. Is that too many syllables for you? Yeah. Stop wasting time. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just terrified right now. Big room, metal staircase. <gasps> Eddie, I'm terrified. I'm so glad that I have you. I'm so glad that I have you right now. Recharge your rifle. What's that thing? That sounds good. Oh, man. Big room, metal staircase. This is scary. This is terrifying. Eddie, please. Can I hear something? Can I hear something so disturbing right now? <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. Thank you, Eddie. Please take care of them. I'm so lost right now. Big room metal staircase. <gasps> Terminal. Oh, it's not locked. Okay, private server access. Robco visit. Please make sure your people are ready for the Robco visit. Down to negotiating on what the project is worth. And my team looking into what happened yesterday. I was assured by my best people that the experiment would go off without a hitch. We are starting cleanup of the affected area today. But I'm told it may take decades for the radiation to clear. Completely. Wow. Just make sure that someone is punished for this. This has significantly reduced our position within Robco. I want them to know that we can keep our house in order. There's another terminal. I think that's just the same. Alright, look, I can't find the metal staircase. I have no idea where I'm going, but I'm just too scared. Oh, hang on. Okay, well, let's just, um, there we go. Oh, damn, I fell. <gasps> I'm scared, guys. I'm really scared right now. Oh, 
Oh, what's this room? Filing cabinets. What have we got in here? <gasps> oh. <laughs> I might need to turn that kill cam off because it's really terrifying. Storage room terminal. We finished converting that old generator room into storage as you requested. If you need to get access to the safe, the password is R3PC0N. Thanks, Bill. Nice. Storage room safe. Beautiful. Oh, so that's the safe there. Ah. Uh, okay, well, maybe we can find. Maybe we can find this place. Oh, this is really scary. <laughs> oh, there's lots of beds here. Foot lockers. Anything really worthwhile getting or not really. I'm looking for like stuff like ammo, caps, magazines, stuff like that, you know. I can't find the direction that we're meant to go in. <laughs> this this guy is going to be really annoyed that we took so long to get here. What? 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 Hi. Eddie. Where are you? <laughs> Man, this place is just awful. Well, this is a big metal staircase. Is this what he was talking about? I've lost Eddie, though. <laughs> That's not good. I'm doing it by myself now. Eddie's out of here. We're here. Hi. All right, Smootskin. I'm letting you in. You better watch yourself. I'll sure as hell be watching you. Mm-hmm. God, but are you ugly. Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Wow. Um, hey, you're not a ghoul. Yeah, I thought that he was. Your pranks won't work on me, Smootskin. They won't work on Jason either. Smooth skin, your skin looks pretty smooth to me. Stop wasting my time, smooth skin. <laughs> Go waste Jason's. I don't understand. I would I thought that he was certainly a ghoul. I don't understand what the deal is with that guy. I thought he was a ghoul. But you know, not one that is out to actually kill us. Speak with Jason Bright, the leader of the Repcon Ghouls. Hang on, before I go upstairs, I just want to see what that computer thing is. I've got a ton of... Bright, bright follower. All praise the great journey. All praise the creator's divine will. Wow. What is the deal with these guys they're living for Jason Bright by the sounds of it all right well let's just get upstairs like we're meant to return to me wanderer we need your help this is so strange bright followers are you Jason Jason Bright Hello, Wanderer. Hi. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? Uh, I don't know what 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 is the great journey, but I'm going to tell him why I'm here. I'm here because feral ghouls have been wandering into Novak. And they've been shooting them down like animals, haven't they? Those ghouls were members of my flock, even after the madness consumed their minds. We never let them wander free. We kept them safe on the first floor. We kept them contained. 
The demons must have let them out. Somehow. Demons? And now they are lost forever, denied the salvation and healing glow of the far beyond. Please, Wanderer, bear in mind that every feral ghoul you spare now is one that we can save later. Once the way is clear, our feral brothers and sisters will accompany us on the great journey. If there are any left. I don't really understand what he's going uh, going on about. What is the great journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Who is? Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Well, who is the creator? Oh my goodness, I want to know all. I want to know everything now. Tell me more about these demons. The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. Oh? The demons are invisible. Okay. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering like sunlight on water. The nightkin. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. I think that they're talking about the Nightkin, you know, the invisible creature that attacked the Brahmin. You say one of the demons raved at you. Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. Hmm. It went on for hours. And did not always make sense, but that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Hmm. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Um, sure, add it to my list. Praise the Creator. Bless you, Wanderer. Bless us all. <laughs> as soon as the underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the great journey can resume. I like this guy. Repcon basement key. Come back, come back. Get rid of the nightkin. Yeah, it's a nightkin. Is the way clear? No, I'm still talking to you. Who are you? I am Jason Bright, the prophet of the great journey. All the ghouls you see here are members of my flock. Your last name is Bright. That's funny. That's I don't want to say that, but I do. An auspicious name, don't you think? <laughs> it was mine before I became as I am now. Before the great war, even. <laughs> Truly does the Creator author a destiny for each and every one of us. How will you make the journey? The means by which the great journey is to be accomplished are an article of faith, not to be discussed with outsiders. Why do I feel that this great journey is just all about maybe like a mass death or a mass suicide? What is this far beyond? I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing, and I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. What's the deal with the human that who let me in? You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared, and the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough we realized that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. Okay. Let me know when the Underground has been rid of the demons. Thanks. I guess that's what we must do to en enable to... Uh, okay. Get rid of the Nightkin in the basement. Alright, let's do it then. Let's do it. Let's do it. So then, are you gonna, like... Morning. Chris. That's Chris. Hi. 
Go bother Jason, smooth skin. <laughs> I don't like having you around. <laughs> You're... Good riddance. Wow. There's some not nice people here. Not nice people. Alright. Let's go to the basement. I'll rid you of your nightkin. You're just a follower, yep. Alright, I guess we're off to the basement. Is that the way to the basement? Repcon facility. This is all dark here. That's where we were before. So the way to the basement. Is it an easy way to find? <laughs> okay, well let's find how to get to this basement then. Shouldn't be too hard. Why is there Brahmin in here? There's another Nightkin. It's very strange that there's Brahmin in here. This must be the basement here. <gasps> Ooh, okay, I'm gonna save. This is a bit scary. <laughs> I'm a bit scared right now. Okay, let's do it. We've got Eddie. Look, I'm so thankful for Eddie right now. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have him with me on this journey. I am beyond grateful that we have him. There's one. All right, let's get you. Damn, thanks Eddie. I'm just running away. I'm just running away from that. Man. There's too many of them. There's too many of them here. Oh my goodness. <gasps> There's one. Let's see if I can critical strike. Beautiful. Whoa, I'm on fire. Ooh. Um, yeah, something's happened. I'm on fire. Oh man, there's another guy down there. Come back, come back. I like getting their legs, you know. I like getting their legs. My AP is like... There we go. Oh man, this is so worrying. Oh, a stealth boy. That's going to come in handy. I do like the stealth boys. Jail key. That's interesting. Oh, hi. Okay, uh, let's get you a little leg. Let's get a few hits on you. Thank goodness for this. Um... Thank goodness for this. Okay, he's done. So, uh, who's... There's heaps of stealth boys, you know. Heaps of stealth boys. Brahmin steak. I don't know if I need to eat. I, don't, I just don't eat. Maybe we can try eating. It does give me rads, though. Ugh. Did that even do anything with my ha Oh yeah, it does increase my HP. Alright, so let's keep going further down. I'm just going to quick save because I'm really happy with our progress right now. Okay, what else? Do we have... I'm very curious about the jail. It mentioned something about a we have a jail key from one of them and what is that 
have we actually dealt with them all here in the basement? So what is that jail key for? Maybe we're actually finished. Open the door. It's so dark in here. I can't see anything. Okay, let's get out of here. Ah, oh, there's another ramp going down. Okay, cool. Let's go see what we've got down here. Oh, you're already dead. That must have been done by a... Oh, no. Open door locked. It's locked. It's locked. Damn it. I don't have anything that gives me any more. No. Okay, so what, what do I do here? There's another door. Oh! You're not an enemy. Hi, Davidson. Antler says you are the one killing my Ken. Antler says you must die. Davidson, calm down. Davidson, Davidson, it's okay. We're, we're all friends here. <laughs> we're all friends, but I'm sorry. I'm going to have to get you in the little leg. Okay, you can just swing your thing behind the, the bench. Whoa. I have no bullets. I have no bullets. Thank goodness for Eddie. I have, I ran out of bullets in that. I wish it would tell me how many actually bullets I have. When I'm on the on the screen of the there, let's let's try this service rifle. Oh my goodness, bumper sword. Davison's key. I'm very curious about that sword, but it is going to be probably too heavy for me. Wow, the Brahmin skull. There's a ton of filing cabinets in here. Bottle caps. Look, these bottle caps are just like, just piddly. Piddly amount. It's in here now. Empty Nuka Cola bottle. It looks. Large ruin book. Nothing for us. No, 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 no. Are we actually done though? Yeah, report to Jason Bright that the Nightkin are gone. I think we did um, an amazing job, <laughs> I've got to say. I've got to say that I'm very thankful to Eddie. Look, I know that you guys, I don't know if you guys like having companions, but he has saved my bacon a lot. Hang on, how do we get out of here? I think it's this way. He has saved me countless times now. I am so thankful for him and having him. Okay, let's get back to Jason Bright. Hopefully Jason will be happy, but I am very curious to see exactly what he means by what he's going on about. Let's Is the way clear? Let's see. The demons are gone. Praise the creator and bless you, wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. Okay, I'm going to follow you because... Hey, come back and go so quickly. I'm very curious about what they're going to do. They've all got space suits on. <laughs> okay, take me with you. <laughs> They go so much quicker than me. This is just not fair. Have you seen how slow I am? Where are these guys? I don't know what they're planning. But I'm insanely curious about what they're up to. Oh, 
Oh, it's down there. Okay. Is it in there? Okay, what's this? <laughs> Jason? This is so strange. This is really, really odd. I don't know what to think. I'm really curious to as to what he is going to get up to. They, they have spacesuits on or something, though. I mean, what is this? It's got a sign of radiation. I mean, I'm not stupid. Hi. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. Of course. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. <laughs> he can tell you what is missing. Okay. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Thank you. Are you seriously going to make your great journey on those rockets? Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. Those rockets will convey you and your flock straight into the ground. I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. Oh, man. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. Damn, this is crazy. Let's talk about Chris. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. Yeah. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us to ensure the success of the great journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity and his inability to make the journey himself. So strange. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the great journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you and Chris to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. You are redeemers both. So you're going to leave Chris behind? Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that were Chris to accompany us, mm. he would die in minutes. Just like you guys. The radiation <laughs> around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. <laughs> wow, you really pulled the wool over his eyes. Ah. I take no pleasure in hiding the truth from Chris, but it is the Creator's will to which I must submit. Goodbye, Jason. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Wow. Okay, so this is so interesting. Guys, they're not going to get out of here. Look at them all. Whoa. Look at that dude down there. He, they're not going to get hey. out of here. Yeah, hey, what do you need? Jason says that I am to cooperate with you <laughs> on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. So what do, you, what do you do here? I'm the Flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the Great Journey would have been impossible without me. Of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. Mm. That's where you come in. How can I help? <laughs> I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity mm. of isotope 239 igniting agent and a set of thrust control modules. Okay. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. Mm. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, 
They were custom built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Um, I guess I I'll track it down. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. What about this rocket souvenir? Oh, yes. Let me see. Yes, oh. that's the igniting agent. But we'll need more of these souvenirs. A total of five should do it. Okay, so... Cool. I can Repton do this. has been ransacked so many <laughs> times by scavengers, it's hard to know mm. where the components might turn up. If they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to oh. the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Okay. All right. So... Why did they let you work on the down on the launch pads? When I joined the flock, Jason made it clear that he wanted me to supervise the repairs, not do them myself. It would be a waste of my gifts to work on just one system at a time. From up here, I've been able to supervise the entire project. Hmm. I don't want, actually want to tell him that he's human because he doesn't. He won't believe that. I don't want to say that. So the Great Journey will use these rockets? Obviously. It's taken months, but I've <laughs> nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. That's crazy. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. I don't know, guys. I really I want to complete this quest because I want to see what happens. They're not going to get anywhere. <laughs> All right. What would you rather be doing? Um, how about we track down the thrust control modules? Where are they? All right. Anything else? Oh. Find parts to fix the rocket's thrust controllers. Well, where whereabouts are they? Scavengers wouldn't know the value of the modules just by looking at them. If you know any junk dealers in the area, I'd start there. Okay. All right. Well, let's do that then. Um, Bye. See you, Chris. Jeez, man. So what do we actually do? Find parts to fix the rocket's thrust controller. Oh, Gibson Scrapyard. Yes, I'm going to go there. I think that's where they said that we could take Eddie to anyway, but I'm not I'm not taking my Eddie away. Please. Okay, so what we can do then is oh, I can't fast travel. Okay, so we just have to get out of here. This is a long way to get out. That's my only complaint, unless this is a shortcut. Let's see if this is much of a shortcut. How do I get up the ladder? <gasps> nice. Nice. Okay, so let me just check on my map. Oh, beautiful. Look, guys, look. It's a little shortcut. So we can just head down there next time. Instead. Oh, look at all that radiation. Ah, get away instead of going that long way down there beautiful all right so what i'm actually going to do now is head back to novak and i'm going to go and talk to manny the sniper guy up in the mouth and then depending on how long this takes hey victor do you have anything new Howdy. to say hey there friend friend yeah. Be seeing you. I don't know about you, Victor. I got my eye on him. I'm going to go talk to this guy and tell him that we've dealt. Oh, you know what? Maybe we have to fully get rid of the ghouls from the area. Um, oh, sorry, Cliff. Before this guy will give us any more info. Hey, let's see. Let's see. Do you have any luck with the ghouls? I'm counting on you. Ah. Oh. Yeah, see ya. Okay, so that's just not enough that we <laughs> Yeah, that's not enough. Welcome. We need Come to on. actually get these guys to go away on their stupid rockets. <laughs> this is going to be hilarious. Because it's not going to work. That nothing's going to happen. I don't know what to expect here. 
<laughs> I don't know what to expect, but I'm really curious. How are you, buddy? I'm going to see if he's got anything new to say. No bark. You've seen them too, haven't you? I can see it in your eyes. I knew I wasn't the only one. Yep, we know about the Nightkin. He doesn't... If anyone asks. He doesn't have anything else to say, though. But yeah, that camouflage guy, the Nightkin. Okay, we're going over to the scrapyard to see if we can pick up those bits and pieces that we need. I'm not delivering Eddie here, though. I don't want him. I'm, I'm not getting rid of him. I need this guy. I have decided. Are you guys... No, okay, okay. They're not enemies. They're just, they're friends. They're friends. Are they your doggies? Are they Old Lady Gibson? Hi there. I'm Old Lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. Okay. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. Mm -hmm. Do you have any thrust control modules from Ripcon in stock? As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules, but they're expensive. 500 caps worth of expensive. Come on, lady. Oh, no. <laughs> no. I can't afford that. Oh, you're charming mm. in your own way, I suppose. Not budging on the price for those parts, though. A pleasure doing business with you. Well, I can actually afford it, but 500 caps is a lot. Take care now. Subject E, diagnosis complete. Begin recording. My name is Whitley. I'm a researcher at Adams Air Force Base. Until recently, I was in charge of the Duraframe reinforcement project for the combat model iBots. Hi, Whitley. iBot Duraframe Subject E is both the prototype and the last functional model in this test group. I was prepared to make several significant upgrades to the machines. However, as the project was cancelled and all Duraframe assets are being diverted to Hellfire Armor, I am sending this model to the Navarro outpost. Don't you take my Eddie away. If you're listening to this log from one of our Enclave outposts in Chicago, give this unit whatever repairs it needs so it can continue to Navarro. No. No, you are not taking, you are not taking my Eddie. You are not taking my Eddie. Hang on, there's some. Hey. Look, I don't know what to do, guys. What's going to be more ex more expensive? These module parts, or the little rocket things? We don't really have a choice, guys. We've got to. So a... you're back. Now, where did we leave off? We left off with you gonna take half my money still got them 500 caps and they're yours <sighs> a pleasure doing business I'm gonna happy to do it I'm gonna sell some junk to you first lady not happy not happy here <laughs> what can I get rid of all right there we go I have made a little pleasure bit doing business with you I've made a little bit of money still back from her them. 500 caps and they're yours all right pleasure doing business with you not happy about that lady so you're back now where did we leave off what else can you say did you ever um salvage containers of radioactive material from repcon certainly did hubby and me had an old rad meter to help us tell the difference between what you could salvage <laughs> and what it'd kill you handy I kept a glowing container from Repcon around here for years, <laughs> serving no better purpose than a nightlight. Damn thing wouldn't sell. <laughs> then along comes the most peculiar looking fellow, all decked out in a yellow radiation suit, of which he was proud all out of proportion. The man outright asked if I had anything radioactive for sale. Imagine that. But he paid handsome for that jar of goop. Only saw him that once. He said something about heading over to Clark Field to put his suit through its paces. A strange one he was. Okay. What do you know about Helios 1? 
The way I heard it, the Brotherhood of Steel ran the place before the NCR took it away from them. I'm not sure who started shooting first. But when it was over, the Brotherhood, with all their fancy armor and weapons, was on the run. Nobody's heard from them since. Hmm, why do they call you Old Lady Gibson? Well, I'll give you a hint. They used to just call me Gibson. I hope you can figure out the rest. Yes. <laughs> I don't mind, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Living long is a real accomplishment these days. Mm -hmm. Remains to be seen if I end up dying peaceful in my bed. <laughs> I am wondering if... Take care now. I'm just going to save my game because I'm curious about her repairing. So, you're back. Eddie. Sure thing. Let me have a look. Oh, she doesn't... Okay, how much does she actually then charge? 500 caps to repair? Get out, lady. Take care. Get out. Not interested. I did wonder if we can talk to. I did wonder if we could actually talk to Eddie, but no. Look, that um, old lady Gibson, she did say that she put a map marker, a map marker, because I do Clark Field. I'm going to set my marker there because I do actually wonder if going there is going to get us that radioactive stuff for Jason Bright and Chris. So I'm kind of curious if we can get all of that stuff now instead of having to go there then come back and then go there again if that makes sense so i'm just going to take a little wander over here oh damn it here we go <laughs> i just love these things i kind of love them <laughs> nice Do we have any more? Oh! Oh, there's that yellow! The guy in the radiation suit! Ha! <gasps> Isotope 239 igniting agent! <gasps> Mr. Radical's journal? Bottle cap? Frad suit! Yes, 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 yes! Note added. Okay, let me just head over here to safety. I'm gonna go read that note. Mr. Radical's journal. Day one, love the suit. Can scavenge anywhere now. Screw the rads. I hereby christen myself Mr. Radical. Get it? Ha. <laughs> Day four, suit passed first test with flying yellow colors. Overnight visit to Yucca Mountain. Didn't go too deep because something big moving around further down tunnel. Rad level high, even, when I, even where I was. And I didn't feel the tickle. Go rad suit, go. Day five, vomited all morning. Didn't splash on suit or I'd be pissed. Must be something I ate. Day nine, exciting. Ran across old woman's scrapyard. Bought glowing container for measly 50 caps. Heading for Clark Field to prove suit at higher rad levels. If it holds up, I'm going to pop this jar of goop open and pour it all over me. I bet I could swim in this stuff if I had enough of it. Oh yeah. <laughs> it didn't work then. Oh man, that is so funny. <laughs> Okay, let's um, let's fast travel back to the Repcon test site. Yes, because we have everything we need now. I think for this, for this, for this guy. So where do we? Where is the? Oh, there it is. Nice. Take our gun. Put it away because it's too slow. I'm really curious about what's going to happen here. I cannot wait to see what happens. 
Hey there. Hi. Have you found the components we discussed? Yeah, it cost me a lot of money. Indeed you did. And they seem to be in excellent condition. All I need now is the igniting agent we discussed earlier. I've got it. I found an entire container of the igniting agent. Yes, that's the stuff. And the container shielding must be intact or you'd be dead by now. <laughs> yeah. Um, the rockets are set to go or can the launch wait a few minutes? What should I do? What? Very few. Time is wasting. Hurry back so we can begin. Should I talk to Jason? I can't go down there because the radiation will kill me. Well, we, we don't, we, we just have to go for it. I don't think there's anything else that I need to do. It is almost time for the great journey. This is not going to go down well. I'm going to actually tell him because he's human. I thought we were past all that smooth skin. But you just can't resist the chance to mess with me. Typical human. Mm. I was human once, you know. Grew up in Vault 34, northeast of here. Nice upbringing if you like assault rifles and target practice. But oh, you prefer machines that don't shoot people? Not so nice then. Mm. Who should maintain the Vault's reactor? Hauser? Mitchell? No. Make it Haversome. He likes machines. <laughs> Haversum won't mind getting irradiated. Mm. Haversum won't mind mutating. He's already ugly as it is. That's mean. Haversum won't mind when his hair starts falling out after a few years. <laughs> There's no connection, Haversum. You're neurotic. You left your vault because you were going bald? Bald? You call this bald, <laughs> smooth skin? I'm a monster. A monster! I don't want to... Oh, speech. My speech is not high enough. I don't want to hurt this guy's feelings. Oh, I don't know. Let's just go for it then. The rockets are set to go, right? Yes. I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. I don't know about this, guys. This is we crazy. We everything we need to launch the rockets, yeah. Jason. The great journey can begin. Hey. Nah, this is really crazy. Gather all. May the Creator guide my words and help me speak true. The Hang Almighty on. Creator has seen fit to answer our prayers. Gotta go up to the, the time viewing has thing. For us to board the ah, quick, quick, quick. Begin the great journey. Where's the viewing platform? Now it may seem that all humans despise us. The Creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. The journey ahead would have been impossible if not for the intercession of two human friends. One you, the other a long abiding companion. I can't find this viewing platform. Oh, there it is. Go, 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 go. I want to see, I want to see. I'm... I want to see, I want to see. Repcon test site. Is that it? Activate launch b button. What? Is this the viewing platform? No. It is, it is. What? The console seems to have something to do with the course plotted for the rockets, but you can't make heads or tails out of how it works. Science 55. Activate launch button. What? Guys, they're just going to die. This is not going to work. I don't like this, but we have to do it to progress things so we can talk to Manny because he wants to get rid of the ghouls. But I actually quite, I like Jason Bright. There's nothing I can do to stop this. I'm not really, I'm not really happy with this. Oh no, this is not going to work. What? Whoa. Well, 
there, there they are on their great journey. Liked. Enough news of your good works have been passed around that people like you. Novak fame gained. Come fly with me. Quest completed. Guys, I like the P. I like Jason Bright. I don't like that that's happened. <laughs> Truly, I don't. Oh, man. Okay, let's work on getting the things that come in very handy. So, science, speech. I notice that my barter skills are quite quite low as well look I just want lots and lots of these points okay I'm happy with that I'm happy with that man well we leveled up so that is good we have got did we... hang on did we level up again oh okay this is good this is good we are doing really well now beautiful Okay, what else can we get? Lead belly. 50% less radiation when consuming food and drink. I don't eat a lot of food and drink, so I think I'll leave that. Toughness, 3% to overall damage threshold. This perk may be taken twice. Let's go toughness. I think we'll go toughness. All right, um, have fun on your great journey, guys. Pretty sure your rockets have crashed, but never mind. We won't worry about that today. This is so bad. Oh, we can't travel? All right. Okay, okay. Never mind. Let's get out of here then. Um, I am kind of curious about the, the Chris fella. Because he's still down there, isn't he? I wonder if we can go and talk to him. He's just there by himself now. So then what's he going to do? If he's just there by himself, what's he going to do? I'm just really curious if Chris is still here. I thought he would be. Nobody is there anymore. So where's Chris? He's just gone. He's not here anymore. So where did he end up going to? No idea. No idea what what he's done. But let's head back now to Novak. This has been a really interesting quest line. I literally have no idea. I have no idea what happened to that poor fellow. Howdy. Oh, hey, Manny? You have any luck with the ghouls? I'm counting on yes, you. Yes, we did. We did. The ghouls are no longer at Repcon, sadly, because I liked them. Really? Unbelievable, man. <laughs> I knew that wasn't going to be easy. But I had a good feeling about you. You look like you've been through a lot. We have. Now about the man I'm looking for. Okay. I'll tell you everything I know, like I promised. Yes. The guy you're looking for, Benny? Benny? He's traveling with some members from my old gang. They were going to Boulder City. Boulder City. Benny, Benny, Benny. Any idea why they went that way? No clue. I know Benny hadn't paid up yet. Maybe that was where they were supposed to get square. Where is Boulder City? It's straight up Route 93 from here. Just keep following the road north. Okay. Thank you, Manny. Hope that helps. I owed you. Thank you so much. Yeah, see ya. Idolized, renowned for... <laughs> For your extensive support and goodwill, you were idolized by the community. Oh man, isn't that cool? I feel really special. <laughs> Does that mean that this guy is going to give me free souvenirs? Welcome back. <laughs> Can I get you anything? Look, we're idolized. Oh, I could have bought his souvenirs. Really? I never thought I'd see the day. Uh... I mean... The day I'd part with them for such an incredibly low price, with so many other offers flooding in. But I like you. <laughs> I think maybe it's time. All that's left is in the storage room here. You can buy the key from my store. I don't Come really. I don't now. need those rockets anymore, though. 
Oh, I should have bought it from him. He was lovely. I'm going to talk to this fellow, Boone. Yeah. Um, get out of the way, Eddie, please. God damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? I just want to say hi. Are you expecting visitors? Yeah, I guess maybe I am. But not like you. Huh. Maybe it should have been you I was expecting all along. What does that mean? Why are you here? <laughs> Oh, I'm so close to that new speech one. Oh, no. Drop it. <gasps> now, why the hell are you here? I might have to come back when I have a better speech. Um, I'm just meeting new people. I think you better leave. You're a grumpy person. Do you treat everyone around here like this? Wait. You just got into town. Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. Why is that? I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. What do you want me to do? I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. Is it about me? My wife was taken from our home oh. by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come and what route to take, and they only took Carla. Mm. Someone set it up. I don't know who. You're trying to track down your wife. My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. Mm -mm. What do I do if I find this person? Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. <laughs> I work nights. Oh, so he works nights. I'll give nights. you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. Okay. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. I'll see what I can do to help you out. Good. I'll make oh, it worth your while. We took his hand. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or the Legion will be after me next. How do you know your wife is dead? I know, all right. That's all you need to know. Hmm. Yeah. That's interesting because Manny seemed to think that Boone killed his wife. But no, not at all. So Manny definitely got that. He got that wrong. But that's fine. He just didn't really trust him. Okay, guys, I'm going to finish this episode here, and I'm sorry that it was a bit longer than normal. I just really wanted to finish the Come Fly With Me quest line. I had so much fun doing that, even though I'm pretty sure that Jason Bright and his followers all flew to their doom. I wouldn't be surprised if we find some crashed rockets going ahead somewhere. I'm really pleased with what we've managed to do in this episode. It's been so much fun. In the next episode, I think we will end up carrying on, continuing towards Boulder, like what Manny said. I'm just going to tidy up a few side quests here and there in this town because I'm really, I'm really liking the people of Novak. They are very interesting. And I'm happy to play this off camera as well and just do those side quests because it actually does help um, me to keep playing the game during the week so I don't lose track of all of the, the cool skills that I've picked up. Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. I think it's been really interesting. I can't wait to see what we get up to in the next one. So have a great day. I'll see you guys really soon. Bye.